the outside edge. Perth's cost four runs. It was a good delivery from Angus Fraser. Just drew him into the stroke. Batsman had to play at it. Because he's got to do this a bit more often. Draw the batsman forward. A modern way not to have a third man. Right-hander Jacques Cullis. Uh, only one slip. And the opportunity to cut straight away. Just a little bit too short and a bit too wide. second session of the match and you've got one that uh, pitches and spins a good foot no touch on it there is a third man but uh, Angus Fraser is not going to get anywhere near that that's uh, high class square drive oh, this is his favourite shot Jack Collis Four for that, but um, as pointed out by Barry Richards just a few minutes ago, the stroke not played with total conviction. The ball has flown just over the head of the keeper or wide of a fieldsman on those two occasions. Beautifully placed, and that's the hundred up. Good firm push, wide of mid-wicket, and they take three runs. Jacques Callis is the striker. around the ground uh, no great crowd here today at Old Trafford I'm afraid rather disappointing that but nothing in the cricket is disappointing so. and that's Jacques Alice's half century very well played good bit of fielding stops the two but that's one very solid innings he's never played outside his limitations he's played massively bored in defense He's eased the ball around, but it's not been a flamboyant innings, it's been tailor-made to the conditions. <laughs> Hundred partnership comes up. No real efforts being made to accelerate at all by Callis and Kirsten. The effort was there, but uh, it was always just beating him into the boundary. A bit short and a bit wide. Well, that snuck its way through, but uh, without claiming the wicket. Good dipping delivery. It was almost like a lazy forward defensive shot. The ball went past the outside edge. And edge this time. Bouncing short of the slip. Four runs. Nicely bowled up by Darren Goff, just drew him a little bit wide. Yeah, nicely bowled here, he just drew Callis a little bit wide, inside edge. Oh, well bowled, that's uh, the first one past the bat for a while. Jack Callis just hitting a sticky patch here. It's a similar sort of delivery than uh, the bowl Liebenberg out with. Well pitched up, quick. Gets the batsman a little bit of a tangle with his feet. Never really gets forward. The feet get stuck in the crease. That's gone fine. And it's a great effort. Robert Croft down there at long leg. 
the trap had been set and there was a man pushed out to deep square leg just in case there was a short ball coming and uh, Darren Goff attempting the Yorker he asked a fraction off with his line with a great bit of fielding That's well struck. There's a long chase here for Mark Ramprakash. And not quite making it. Brave effort again. Well, he's given that a clatter. That might well be six. No, it's four. He just... Yeah, just the problem Mark Ramprakash has occasionally dropping the ball short. Someone like Callis with 92 on the board, very quickly onto it. And that only just fell short of the boundary rope. That's a lo lovely shot. That's a beautiful shot. And that's a century. Off comes the helmet, up goes the arm. Great jubilation. Jacques Callis, who scores his second test century. Acknowledged by the whole crowd here at Old Trafford. It's been a cultured innings, full of good strokes, but uh, never extravagant and extremely patient. And that's a record partnership for South Africa in tests at Old Trafford. Nicely placed again and beautifully timed. They'll take uh, an easy three there. Eleven runs coming off uh, the over from Mark Ramprakash. 200 comes up. That's been the problem with Ashley Jars. He bowls a series of good balls and then suddenly you'll drop one short and give the batsman a bit of width. And uh, Jacques Cullis is very good. Squ well, again, uh, the good fortune is on South Africa's side. Aaron Goff just getting a fraction of movement to Jacques Cullis. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. Darren Goff has ripped one through Jacques Cullis's defence, and that takes some doing because Cullis has made a hundred and he was in beautiful touch again today. Well, I'm not sure even he can understand how he missed this one, but it was an absolute beauty of a delivery. Just pitching on off and straightening. And the way Jacques Callis was playing that, it looks as though he was looking to move the ball through the leg side. Just opened him up like a can of beans, and the off stump was knocked back. Wonderful innings by Jacques Callis.